people of YouTube, it is I once again back with another review. Well, it was yeah, technically it's a review, but I thought for a change I've been meaning to do a video, I had no idea what to do. So I picked up this guy finally, who I've been looking for for months in Argos yesterday in a 3 for 2 deal. There was no other figures there, so I managed to get Splinter, who I've already have, that I'll be getting rid of, and Fish Face, who I already have, but hey, he's currently on his way to Northern Islands. I knew someone who, who else would want him. So I'll just try to fix that. It's my camera does seem a bit low. It was fine, actually. I just quickly realised the batteries were falling out. Right, so I thought we'd do a box here. As you can see, here's Metalhead in his box. Yes, we all know in the new TV series, he's built by Donatello from Crang Parts. And he looks quite funky in the box. You can see Argos haven't even bothered taking the sticker off it yet, but... There you go, it's gone. Uh, the box was a bit damaged, so if you're a kid for Christmas you might be a bit annoyed, but I'm open yet, so who cares about the box? And here we have his bio that you probably can't read, Is this is just a normal picture camera, so it won't have autofocus for videos. So should we finally opening up and see how the man he looks himself? And there he is, free, oh the box, blah blah blah. You get the usual instruction book, shows all the toys, with well, this more updated one now, so it shows you all the figures you can get now, and the big layer that looks awesome, but nowhere to put it, and too expensive, weapons, blah blah blah. Oh, the pointless vehicles. I actually had that skateboard I picked up for Morrison's for £4 a few weeks ago. For a friend's son for Christmas, then he took said, oh he doesn't play with toys, eight years old. These days all they're interested in his Xbox, so he got that got handed into a charity shop. But ah, well, that's done and some other thing is in the box. It's appears to be some sort of video game scratch card thing. Nope, just an advertiser for the game which thing mentions something about Ninja Star. Select exclusive codes in the main menu and enter blah 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 for a game that actually my the same friend's son has been getting into Turtles. Had it round to the other day, played it. The graphics look poor. And here we have Metal. Hello, as you won't be able to tell from, probably unless you see the jump cut there, that thanks to the magic of editing, you won't realise I'm actually continuing the day later as, as I was just about to cut these tabs, the batteries ran out of the camera. My camera seems to hate my rechargeable batteries, so... We shall continue up releasing Metalhead from the plastic. But before that, to a quick note, I was in Tesco's earlier on today, at lunchtime from work, and in the two for £15 range they have in the Turtles figures, I managed to pick up the Rat King and Cockroach Terminator, who looks a bit odd. I may actually do other videos in the opening these packages as I'll see how well this one goes, so. Just to let you know, they're out there, two for £15 in Tesco's, or £10 each and three for two in Argos, but Argos only seem to have your friends and village pack, including Metalhead, Fish Face, Splinter, Shredder, and Dog Pound, so if you've got those, you might want to try Tesco's. So here we go, time to free him from the plastic, where he's been sitting since last night, waiting to escape. And, ooh, so far taking him out, and here's his little... Blaster thingy, but oh, he looks rather nice and pretty there. Oh, I do like the head sculpt, though, as I've already realised, the yellow paint doesn't go right all the way around in the band. Oh, I love this mechanical detailing on his stomach. Uh, feet are slightly hollow, but you expect that. And then, oh, his feet turn. His waist turn, he can bend at the knees. Yeah, he seems well articulated there. His arms, yeah, his wrists swivel. His arms don't do much. Nope. He has no. Well, his arms swivel there, but I can't change that. His elbow seems to be posed a bit bent joint. Sorry, I to realise this is this again. Camera still is now the box, and he's much shorter. On the back, though, his shell has actually a nice subway. Sewer cap, I forgot what they're called. Any other time I could probably tell you this, but having a brain fart moment. And what it takes though, the weapons, some of the things I've heard of is they don't really clip in here. I don't know the American version is supposed to have some sort of firing pin, but as you can see there, it just it sits in but doesn't seem to fire. 
I'm guessing it's just a uh, pew. You've got to force out yourself. Actually, it doesn't seem to work either. Oh well, that's a shame. Shame doesn't fire, but I suppose it's hold there for posability. Can you at least hold it in the other hand? Uh, not really. He can't kind of hold it as a clubber. He wants to be a band leader. Do 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 I gotta admit though, he's a funky looking figure. Love the looking metal head. As for a robot, definitely much better than this thing. Don't know if anyone else has Krang, but good god, what a flaming piece of crap this thing is. Krang. Whoops. Krang must tell Krang that Krang is crap. And also, I don't know if anyone else's little Krang has done this, but mine's... Oh, you can't see because this camera doesn't have zoom in. It's all fallen to bits due to just cracking. There's a big massive crack there in his face, but no idea why that's happened. Just sitting on a shelf one day, come back and find out his little hands and feet bits have all fallen off. But anyway, enough about this piece of crap. I only brought through so he could try to see, see if Metal Head can shoot him with this thing, but obviously he can't. So, oh well, that piece of crap can go away. So for my first impression of Metal Head, uh, that is a cool looking little figure. Just see how close you can get to this camera that has no autofocus without going blurry. Ah, actually, I quite like Metal Head. Oh, finally worth the wait to get him. Well, actually, does his head have any high articulation? Some, but his head feels a bit stiff. It can go up and down. It feels like it might turn, but yeah, it's quite stiff. So, so sorry. So some slight head turning. No mark. I don't want to put too pressure in case I break him. But some very nice detailing on this guy. So I recommend he's an excellent looking figure. So if you can find this guy, get him. Well, this has been a completely awful review. I shall shut up now and go away. So, thank you for watching this, and you can leave all your insults about how bad this video was down there. Or that's if all the Google Plus notes to let you leave comments. I don't know. Oh, I'll just do a quick size comparison before I forget. Here he is, next to a mini Yorkie. Nope. Never mind. Goodbye.